Good everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Guys Redux, in which we are. Well, we're at war with the Qing Imperial Authority in... Actually, are they allied with Japan? Yeah, they are allied with Japan. Are we find Japan? Yeah, we're fine, Japan. Oh, Peter hoochie has got a nice mustache. But we gotta talk about the cocaine dynasty crisis. While the process of integrating the Wa princely states is moving swiftly, it seems that we've accidentally landed right in the middle of a dynastical spat in cocaine. While the Burmese have kept the situation under control by warring, keeping the province under shared leadership, now contesting both sides, the Kotang government have approached us asking for recognition. With the death of Myosa Yang Chun Yon in 1927, power in the area has been so far hotly contested between his son Yang Wei Pai and his brothers Yang Chu Jin and Yang Chun Pai. While Chu Jin and Chun Pai have shown signs of wanting to collaborate, Wen Pa has directly sent a letter to a government, stating that so long as Yunnan protects the interests of Ko Kang from the Empire setting its sights on the Shan, he'd support our cause. With little choice between those two squabbling brothers, we have sent out a small police detachment to support Wen Pai and his consolidation of power, and hopefully, this will grant us his loyalty once become Salfa. Let's hope we don't regret this later. We should have meddled in princely affairs. i not sure which one I want to do. Uh, already claims in Siam. We're kind of were, were you in the war with them or something like that. So um, we're going to get involved. But as you see right now, we're doing okay. Um, we are just going to town on them, just attacking as much as we possibly can. Uh, I'll be honest. Like between this episode and this, the, the, the time I'm recording this episode and the last episode, it's been quite some time. And uh, actually, the organization wouldn't be bad. We are attacking like a little kind of crazy here, but I think we. We can have them, so let's take a look here. So the Qing uh, Imperial Authority, which used to be Feng Shen, but hey, look at that, and Superman. Not bad. Uh, they have only 22,000 manpower. They're on extensive conscription now, so I think they're raising more soldiers up. They just lost eight. Uh, hmm. They have up to 75 division stockpile. They're out of guns, man. So that's why I started attacking. And then he's oh, they got 52,000. They're mobilizing even more. Oh, Burma, yes, please. Um, yeah, overall not too bad. But especially since they're getting more manpower, but they're literally out of guns. We've got some comments to go through as well, such as. Someone says I should use tanks in the northeastern plains of China, which, you know, that's not a bad idea. We've got a lot of army XP. We're going to probably use some tanks. And someone also recommends that we go play a historical authoritarian Australia run, which I don't know the last time we played Australia, but we probably should. And we can also go ahead and core a lot of provinces here in China. Ma Jian publishes a Chinese Quran. Having long suffered from poor transliteration and standardization, Ma Jian has finally published his own translation of the Quran, utilizing his knowledge in Arabic translation to Chinese to more accurately display the teachings of Islam in the Hui schools of the province. Or to the of the province, yeah. I wonder if it will actually become a standard. But also, I, did, I forgot to show you guys this earlier. Like, we're doing okay down here, but... <sighs> it's alright. Like, I didn't realize that these guys have bikes. I don't know they bike a lot down there, but honestly, against the Qing, we're doing really great. So, um, like I showed you earlier, 52,000. Wait. Now it's 176,000. Okay, they have a lot more map than I thought they would. They did. Uh, but not, overall, not too bad. Uh, guys, please stay on this side. Not everyone needs to go up to the top one. Please. Also, like I said earlier in the episode, we're trying to make some tanks. Motorized divisions. They'll have motorized, but whatever. And we're still trying to course stuff, too. So, yeah. Like, we, we need a lot of political power now, but. Um, we're still trying to fight for Vietnam over here, south of Hanoi. We should do relatively okay. But you never know against the Indo-Chinese Federation. Oh, that's, that's a lot of manpower. Chuang Tuan. They have up to, they own 15 divisions. That's not bad. Yeah, they own 15 divisions. I'll t gladly take that. But over here, I don't think they can really stop us too much. Especially since they're out of guns. I don't know why all of our divisions like fled north up here. Like, I don't understand why they did that. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, right now, we're trying to build more factories, more of this stuff. More civvies, more roads, just so the supplies aren't super, super bad. But, actually, do we have... Uh, that's good, but... Uh, Zoo has been injured. Let's continue just integrating more stuff. 4.6... 1.6 million manpower is not bad, so... Overall, it could be a lot worse. It could really, really, really be a lot worse. But I don't think we can really, at this point, let up. Just don't think we're really able to. Just because they're out of guns. They're literally out of guns, so... And down here, I'm... They're attacking us, you can see. But I really want to take out Vietnam. Really want Vietnam badly. And over here, we're just, it's, it's literally just at a standstill, which sucks, but. You know, mostly a standstill. Maybe not fully one, but still. Uh, we do have eight divisions. These guys were green. I had to fast deploy them. They're actually level three already. Wow, holy crap, fun. Become a scavenger if you can. That'd be great. Honestly, you can't win. There's no point in you wasting guns and lives, so. Yeah, I'll just kind of keep hanging out. We got some advanced computer machines. Um, let's grab some of that, too, if we possibly can. Still, only three research slots. 
Uh, March Yon seeks to travel to Mak Maka. After finishing his pilgrimage around Yunnan, helping found some Hui schools in the frontier, Ma Jian has of funds from her government and wants more to travel to Maka. While many Muslims in Yunnan would be glad to receive news from the home of Islam after the recent news of turmoil in the region, it's not something we would necessarily need to avoid. Oh, we shall find it. Yes, we shall. So it doesn't look like we're doing well down here super much. A lot. Super much. A whole lot. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I knew they would land eventually. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, boys, you're out. It's your time to shine. You find some Japanese folks invading us? You're going to beat the crap out of them, son. Oh, crap, they even took the port. Holy crud. That is El Socorino's. Cool, but yeah, like these guys are seriously out of guns, so... Um, we should do okay. They're, mm, they're doing okay on Manpire. They're out of everything. And you know what? Plane-wise, we're still doing... Actually, we're doing really well. We're losing a lot of fuel. Like, we could use more fuel, but still. It's not bad. And since we're holding here anyways, I'm, I'm kind of feeling okay about it. Obviously, I don't like this. Wait. Where'd they go? Uh... Do they leave? Or are they just... We just can't... Well, they're sort of here. Suicide pills are yummy. Uh, keep them in place for now. And then you should be able to like, just bunch up on them. There we go. Nice. Good. They're attacking us as well. Which should help weaken them. Give them no rest. And we're just pushing really well in here, so... <sighs> Very good. I'm feeling okay about this now. Uh, 25 planes... Oh! We just had a big ol' uh, oh, run them. Oh, run them. But begin colonization. Kachin? Why not? Advanced already is nice. Can we grab some better art? Yes, we can. Yes, please. Thank you. But we're not going to upgrade yet because we're out 2,200 pieces. How many guns are we out? Are we actually... Holy crap, we're out of a lot of guns. If that's the case, Bremer wants to supply some guns. That's okay with me. Cool. And yes, motorized too. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Go in. Don't let them escape. I'll run them all. Kill them all off. Enjoy yourself. Oh, they're actually pushing us back quite hard around here. That's interesting. Huh, okay. Interesting. Oh. Oh boy. Actually, if you guys can go in there, that'd be great. Do that and surround them. You guys go keep all the way down there. That's fine. They want to attack us. I'm okay with that. I'm 100% okay with that. Wait. What the heck? All the way in. Do not let them move. Because we're doing well over here. We're just, just out of so many guns. Eh, we got 2,000 more after we got rid of some of those extra divisions, but still. Nice. So what happens when we win in Korea? Because we will win. I swear to God. We better win. Oh, there's actually something there too. Oh crap, Ling, Ling Nan, go in, just go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Oh god. All right, so come back down here too. Oh, they got some mechanized. Oh crap. Yeah, they're actually attacking quite harshly down here. Holy crud. It's kind of nuts to see them doing this well, honestly. They're having a little bit of a panic. -ish. Sort of attack, but come on, beat the Ching. Once we can beat the Ching again, um, these guys will be all freed up and we can actually use them to do stuff. Uh, that's okay. So, government, oh, so government staff for schools. Cool. Could use more arty. Colonize Sen Wei. Yeah. My gosh. Leg legionary Romain has died. Alright, go in here and cut him off if you can. <clears throat> go in if you can as well. And I'll just shift him around some more. Oh, that's not good. Agent capture is never a good thing, right? Never. Unless we're capturing enemy agents. Follow Shenyang. Nice. Oh, give me a am. Okay. So you guys come down here. They are spreading like sort of a cancer. Okay, so you take three here. Ah, uh, you kidding me? Throwing some Japanese troops there too? God dang it. Are they going to encircle us somehow, some way, maybe? Cause bro, that'd be real sucky. <clears throat> Are they considered a major? Uh, no. Only Japan is, which is good to see, but still. Hey! There goes the Ching! Nice! Good job, guys! I actually might split half of you guys up and send half of them here, because we just need more numbers here. So, you guys get out of here, just in case this happens again. And you guys, well, I hope you like Korea. Because we're going all the way in. Go, go, go. Fighter 2s are nice. Get some cast 2 as well. We're actually doing a lot better on fighters now. Or, uh, guns. Or, yeah, guns and artillery. Thank God the Ching died. Um, over here, it's just, it's just a mess. Oz what is going on in the world over here? Germany won against the... Well, I guess the Entente and the Reichspact won, so they're actually beating up the Russians. 
Now, Hungary. My gosh, it looks like Hungary's now the dominant part power of the Austrian Empire, but very weird. Uh, I'll close out of that. There you go. I get some more fighters. We get some more artillery too soon. We need. We just need more stuff in general. There you go. Come to Saigon. 100 more uses of that. Fine with me. Oh, do we actually. Holy smoky fathers. How did this happen, man? How the heck did this happen? Get out. You guys failed miserably here. You should. You're gonna get sacked, Zoo. Like, I don't care how good you are. You suck. You got flippant and circled, man. Go in Hanoi. Yeah, Siam's got a lot of manpower. Holy crap. Yeah, we lost these divisions, it looks like. I need you to force the attack. I need you to both hold and go just retreat. Where the hell are the divisions? Dude, why are you sucking so hard? Spread out and help your fellow men. And why, why do we have enough... Thon? Come on. Alright, at this point, we're going all in. I don't care how many attacks it takes. You, you gotta go in. You've got to win here. How much manpower does, do these guys have? 50 divisions. Are you kidding me, man? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Resistance to Kachim. With the colonization effort starting, many people have gathered in the city of uh, Maitikian. Considering by many as a de facto capital of the Kachim people. In order to protect or protest or advance into the territory. Wildly dangerous for administration all the way... The, all the other way of the Kong mountain range. It also still supposes a setback for colonization efforts in the region, especially as it may grant the protests even more support, greater support against us if we fail to contain them. What should we do? Repressive demonstration? They're subjects now. We should treat them as such, even for colonizing them. Repression? Nah. Treat them as such. They're still our subjects. We treat them as such. Hmm... We do that. Why not? 42. This is crap, man. Ha okay. Finish off in Korea. Because this is getting ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Come on. Move, 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 move. I don't care how many men we, we, we lose down here. At this point, this is stupid. And I don't like this. I just don't like this. This expands so easily. They're going to lose. There's just going to be... Hundreds, if not thousands, people dead here. But the Sui split. After the Burmese defeated the Sui in the 19th century, and with the British colonization of Burma, the uh, state of Sui, once desired by the Qing dynasty during the Sino Burmese War of 1765, is now shot of its former self. Split in half, given an opportunist loyalist in Burmese court, we now have the ability to correct this wrong and give United Sui back to the rightful owners. Second thought, as long as they get the say the law. As long as they say the law, that's fine. I don't care about the, like, if we lose the attacks. Like, you gotta win. Like, I don't care. Ooh, that a lot, lot of lag, though. You should easily be able to win here. You really should easily be able to win. Seriously. Yeah, okay. This is pissing me off. Mahjong published Arab Chinese Dictionary. Having traveled to the Middle East, Mahjong received instruction in the region about the Arabic language, and with that knowledge, he has returned to Yunnan and drafted the first Arab Chinese Dictionary. Considering Chinese and Arabic cultural exchanges have long been plagued with issues due to the language barrier and difficulties in translation, such a dictionary is bound to be helpful not just to our Muslim citizens, but all for Muslims in China. That's nice. Can you go in? We don't have time for this crap. And why aren't the Japanese piecing out with us? We literally took all of Korea. Now I'm going to murder every single last Japanese and enemy agent here. Holy crap, this is pissing me off. Look at all the guys they have been circled. This is ridiculous. I mean, what the heck is going on here? Why do you suck so much? Alright, just delete these divisions then. You obviously don't care about them, so... Thanks a lot, crappy generals. Consolidate them. You don't deserve any uh, soldiers. You really don't. Like, I don't understand why this is so gosh dang hard. Why? Get on the front lines or die. Like that's that's it. That's literally it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Abs one hundred percent ridiculous. Um, I don't even want to use these guys. Just throw them down there. Just let them die. So when do we peace out with the Japanese? Fanning Sun. Well, hope it happens. Colonize Mugment and Taopeng. Gotcha, people. You're going all the way in. I. We're not stopping any any way of the way here. You gotta go in now and fast and hard. They can land all their soldiers. I seriously don't care. 
after the amount of casualties we've taken from these guys. That's ridiculous, and I'm going to kill every single last one of them. Burn them all into the ground. Um, oh, steel production went out. Uh, actually, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Go with chromium first, it doesn't really matter. You, you're pathetic, Zoo, way Pi Day, Pi D. Absolutely pathetic. I want millions of dead Japanese people here now in this campaign. Millions. Just millions of them. I wish we had a navy who could invade Japan, just kill them all off. Just casual genocide, that's all. They would cancel non aggression pacts? Of course they would. A bunch of Western imperialists. What is this? Um, Fading Sun, I guess, but. Hopefully we get that. I understand. With air superiority. Because we should have air superiority down here. I don't have that many planes. 300? What the heck are you... Ah, oh, you... Mm, there you go. Go there. there. It's fine. Yeah, we're not going to let up on any of these attacks. If anything, we're going to force the attacks to go through. Like, I'm done playing around with the Japanese. Every single one of them is going to burn. Because they have to. Every single one. Literally no mercy. I want forced attacks. And by God, we're going to get them no matter what. Don't care what it takes. If it costs me 10 million men to get rid of the Japanese here, then so be it. Doesn't matter. Every Japanese soldier you see is a criminal. And you better treat him as such. And somehow they're just so easily able to win. I don't understand. Yeah, they got a lot of support equipment. But you should all be 40 combo with. But they're only 20s. Which doesn't make any sense. 40 it up. All divisions become 40s now. Because apparently that's the way the game wants to run with the enemies, so we'll run that way too. Um, there's only one of you guys, so there you go. 43 and... Well, the game wanted it like this. We're getting thick. And we're not going to have any equipment at all. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. Get rid of these guys. We don't need them. Save on equipment a little bit more. And once these guys are all dead, we're gonna just we're just gonna ham fist ourselves south, just fist them hard. Yeah, more plans would be nice. I'm not letting up the attacks though. Absolutely not. Two million enemies have died. That's not enough. That's literally not enough. Take the supply ports. Come on. About a month left. Not bad. But a radar would be nice if I actually built them. Uh, get some more military factories. That'd be good. Get some radar too. That could help us out as well. Keep going. State of Mogmit. After the death of Sao Kin Mao Gai in 36, Hukun Hiko, now Sao Hukun Hiko, began the Malfa, Malfa of Mogmit. However, unlike some of his princely co rulers, uh, the dude attended universities recognized as Bachelor of Arts. While known Burmese patriot or experts in the region have advised that if we guarantee the safety of his family and the continuity of his rule in the area, we can give them perhaps secure the loyalty of yet another Sophia. Sure, why not? Loyalty seems pretty good. Colonize Hipspa? Why not? Might as well. We're not giving up any of the attacks. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Philippines should have already been destroyed, but I don't know why the U.S. is not doing anything. We have the Mexican Empire down here, too. Huh. Who the heck are you, Grandma? Maria Sophia Sophia. Josia Sophia. As a Habsburg... What the heck? Empress? There's an Austrian on the throne of a... Austrian on the throne of the Mexican nation while being a puppet of America. What the heck is going on? What? The Belgrade Pax almost gone. We almost kicked out the Japanese from mainland China, except for down south. Great, great, great kill every last one of them. L literally, do not let them leave. Do not let them leave. I want them to burn here. If they want to take the soil so badly, they can bleed into it. Constant attacks. Literally no peace. They take Shandong. Oh, the Fang Sun. 
After the utter defeat of the Imperial Japanese Army, our forces controlled huge swaths of land mature in Korea. While the Imperial Japanese Navy reduced the attempting mere blockades, our spies in Tokyo reported a severe descent and war weariness among the populace. In light of this, the government has called a two-week conference to support Arthur to determine our war uh, aims. It's fine. Let's just do this one. Kill, every kill them all off before the peace still fires. Fully, truly fully. Oh, well, yes. Yes, good. Kill them all off. Literally, don't let them move anywhere. Oh, look at that. Oh, Belgrade Pack is gone. Nice. Go in. Just go in. Go in now. Go in, go in, go in, go in. Aw. Oh, collapse of the Japanese Empire. Peace with the Empire of the Fading Sun. The two week conference in Darren is ended in agree agreements. The terms Japan offered were accepted and peace has been achieved. We've gained much, and this is nothing less than a great victory. Oh, I'm going to back to war with these guys if I can. Yeah, we're going back to war immediately. I'm going to murder every single last one of these pieces of garbage off. It's not even going to be funny. Oh my gosh, these guys have pissed me way too off to even consider letting them live. Also, this is a peace deal that we had at the end of the last episode-ish. I didn't give them that much because I hate them so much now. So, they're not going to get anything else from us again. So, I'm going to make sure that they burn. Go and Kill every last Chinese pretender you got. Good. I apologize for me being just kind of frustrated with this. But, you know what? Fighting a land war in Asia always ends up being frustrating. It always does. Always, 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 always. So, we don't want to fight one in Asia. Oh, that's a bit too much. Um, here, take you over here. You guys go over there, and then you all, because the game just prioritizes 40 combat so much, so basically we're forced to use it. <clears throat> Be like this. Well, at least China's kind of united, unified for now. Go ahead and do that. Get a lot of this stuff. Grab a lot of radar. Hey, yeah, Australasia. Yeah, kill off those Japanese. Oh. The children of Lao Tzu rule once more. The heavens sing of our triumphs and our answers smile upon us. Wherefore we see the, seize the mandate of heaven and taking back the lands of the Tang mandate of old and unite all of China under our forces. Our armies and hordes march from Kunming to Beijing and all the lands in between. For the middle kingdom is finally ours. The king Yunnan, Tang Jiao, has seized his claimed birthright and resurrected a dynasty that has lay dead for and forgotten for over a millennia. Now, with this victory, this dynasty of old shall be extinct no longer. The great Tang, the dynasty of Gaozu, the first Tang emperor in Lao Tzu, the great founder of Taoism shall rise again once more into this reborn son of Tang and all of China will be made anew. The mere governor general the, or King Tang Xiao is no more, for Tang Gaozu, heir to the Great Tang, shall take a seat upon the dragon throne, reigning as the newest emperor of China. May Great Tang last a thousand years. Let us usher in a new golden age of the Middle Kingdom under the Great Tang. The Great Tang Empire. Southern Army for the reclamation of the Tang Mandate. That's a long title. Remove or claim the Tang birthright. What is that one? Yunnan is definitely interesting. It's a franchise. Okay, wow, minus 94% percent world attention. Just thought world time goes way down. Oh, we removed that? I don't like that. What? Do we have a national spirit too? Oh, uh, a sword mandate. With the enemies dealt with and the foundations of our secure rule now finally established, the Tang Dynasty is safely, truly safe. Fully revived, allows the great Tang under new emperor shall reach towards the past to restore its legacies and traditions while striding towards a better future for all Chinese. To kick off this new era of Tang supremacy, Emperor Gao Zhu declared his intent to move the capital of the empire to the former Tang capital of Chang. Ch Chang An and modern day Xi'an. Nice. I'm ready to just kill every single piece of garbage off here. Like, let me go. I'm I'm going straight in and murdering every single one of these people. I'm I'm not gonna mess around with these guys. There is not gonna be a single day of rest for, for us to get rid of these guys. There's zero time to stop. Like the amount of crap they pulled against us. Hey, Tang Xiao Reunites China, nice. China will be your forge into a new era. Thank you. We better supply companies, support companies. Oh, there we go. Our sword mandate. Oh, uh, all this. Zili? Yes. Let's do Zili and Shen Yang. Yay. And look at him. Nice. I like the attack and defense, but I, I want more just by Rogos times. I want better just by Rogos times, man. The Vil Buddhist snake. Though the Tang Dynasty helped usher in and synthesize Buddhism, it also led to the demise of the original Great Tang. Thus, foreign religions poisoned the minds of our people for far too long, and action must be taken to limit this influence before it degrades the very fiber of our people's morals and spirituality. His spews princely debate or debacle. As our efforts to integrate other Shan states into Yunnan continues. We finally, we're finally on the gates of Ipsal, one of the largest Shan states of the region. Led by Sophia Sao An Kya, the princely state is, strangely enough, very well organized. A British loyalist, Sao An Kya is known as a benevolent ruler who has created several social assistance programs and whose experience in the British education system before the revolution has drastically shifted his ideas away from the average princely state. However, while his reputation in the area is enormous, his demands for his loyalty clearly shows us his true colors. Apparently confident that his British cause will give him the upper hand in negotiations, he has demanded us to pay for the damages caused during an invasion and to help for the Ipsal's health or welfare system. While some of our advisors say we should just agree to his crest, perhaps assassinating him and putting out regency in charge until his son, Kya Sung, comes of age may be more fruitful in the long term. Yeah, I don't care about him. 
I'm sorry, but no. We're not taking demands from you. Um. Why can't we go to war? Oh, we gotta go to war. We gotta wait. Just two days. That's fine. I'm going straight to war. Kill these guys off. These sack of potatoes need to die. We're going straight in. I, I don't care what happens. I do not care. Struggles of a new mandate. We've had a lot annihilated most of the enemies and uh, parasites that infected our great tank. The Xinhai inspired Republicans have been destroyed. The Qing loyalists have all been eradicated like that foul familiar line. And foreign devils have been annihilated or exiled. However, our empire is still aches from internal stress and issues. For our people have been devastated by nonstop war for decades. Famine grips much of the interior, especially in Sichuan. The Japanese still our coast and our resources. And all of China aches yearning for a return to peace. Emperor Gao Zhu must act quickly and fix the issues that uh, that all is the ails new empire. Or the Great Tangle just falls quickly as it rose, once again tossed into the dustbin of history. The young man, we brought China to the brink of ruin, and now we must be the ones fixing it to. Oh my gosh, it's so... Why do we get this now? Are you kidding me? Why? Wait, so we went to war, and the divisions didn't even show up. What the hell are you doing? Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to use consequence here. I, I don't want to deal with this. Like... I don't care how bad the supply is. I really don't. I really just don't give a crap how bad supply is right now. Because if the AI can use 40 combo with infantry divisions and have no penalties, then why do we deserve and get penalties? All right, everyone. So we're back in November 19th or 14th. Oh, 1943. I haven't gotten to war with these guys yet, but apparently the game keeps crashing, and I do apologize for being a little ragey about this. It's just... Parts of this are just frustrating. You see divisions, like... Siam's got so many divisions. Not not a ton like us, but so many divisions. And they have no supply issues. And these guys are finally moving down here because I actually shifted a lot of divisions further south. It's probably a bad idea. Whatever. But, like, the game keeps crashing, so... Like, I, I've restarted this, like, four or five times, unfortunately. So, we're going to just have to use console commands for this. So, F8 and the Vile Buddha Snake. The Foul Plague. The Form Foul Plague. That is, Buddhism has long affected the hearts and minds of our people. It was the first Tang Dynasty that fully allowed this alien cancer to take root in our native lands, allowing it to spread across the Middle Kingdom unfettered. The moral decay caused by this false faith caused the de decadence and complacency that led to the first Tang mandate to ruin, despite the heroic actions of our ancestor, Emperor Wu Zong. With the mandate of having now in the hands of Emperor Gao Zhu of Tang, and the great Tang finally restored, we will not make these same mistakes again. These Buddhist parasites will be ripped from our body and cast out for good. The monasteries in Buddhist land will be seized back by the state, and the fortunes will be taken and redistributed to Taoist and Confucianist temples around the nation instead. Of course, with a small portion going to the emperors, as with anything else in the empire. Like the three disasters of Wu and the Zhu copper seizure, another major blow has been dealt to the Buddhists at menace. Soon, all of China will be free from the taint. We shall cut the head off this vile, vile snake who needs to build in the church of Lao Tzu. With Buddhism suppressed, we can look to the one true faith for all of China, Taoism. The founders of the original Tang Dynasty, the honored Li family, were the direct descendants of the famed Lao Tzu, whose writings and philosophy have come to spread all across all of China. We shall embrace his teachings and make the great Tang a truly ethical, spontaneous, and peaceful realm of the principles of Wu Wai, Zeran, and the three terrorizers guide us. More political power, division, defense is nice. The Tang Code. The Tang Code, built off the Sui Legal Code, was one of the most influential legal codes ever devised, spreading across not only all of China, but all of East Asia. Codifying the principle of legalism and Confucianism. Into binding laws, the legal codex served the original Tang well, carrying them to become paragons of justice. We should try to live up to this legacy, reviving the Tang code and modernizing its text to better fit with our current era. More, even more political power, stability, and more research slot. Nice. The poetic tradition of the Tang. From the greats like Du Fu and Li Bai, uh, to lesser known artists such as Bai Zhuyi and Wang Wei, the great Tang was filled with more than a share of great poets. The original Tang not only represented a high point in Chinese poetry, perhaps its single greatest peak. We shall revive this honored tradition spread poetry, both old and new, across the restored Tang, bringing culture and a connection to, the, all, to our past while people under our domain. Very cool. The Tang Dynasty is typically referred to as not only a high point in Chinese culture, but the absolute pinnacle of the Chinese poetic tradition. With great masters such as Meng Huron, Jia, Dao, Li Bai, Qian Qi, Xiang Zhuling, Wang Wan, Li Yi, and so many more, it's impossible to land on a single great, greatest poet. These great masters of the oratory and literary arts are one of the greatest legacies of our dynasty. Serving as one of the zeniths of our shared culture, and as such, much of the works must be spread above all the work of the ma main masters of Li Bai, Du Fu, and Wang Wei. Rather, regarded as the three greatest poets in Chinese history, shall become mandatory reading for all citizens. New poets will be encouraged to rise up and add to our shared lexicon. And through sheer will, we shall force a new high age of culture and art in our new great Tang. We shall reclaim the legacies of our ancestors, for Chinese culture and high art is the greatest in the world. A time will come to ride the wind and cleave the waves. I'll set my cloud like sail across a sea which raves. Cool. 
and the Opium Road. Trade and barter across Silk Road is what made the Tang Dynasty so rich and powerful in the its heyday over millennia ago. However, the world's moved on from silk and simple luxuries to more sinful and delicate or delectable pursuits. And in joy of these dark tastes himself, the Emperor has declared that this that the new trade network will be established and run by the state, one that deals in growing and selling of opium poppies instead of mere fibers and gold, which doesn't make any sense. The modern silk road, which is nice, we even though we lose more stability, get more factories, but I thought we'd get rid of that, you know, with banning opium. What are you doing, Emperor? The new tributary system. Every empire deserves a tribute, and we are no exception. Throughout history, Chinese dynasties have set up tributary states and subdivisions, both within and without their own domains, offering autonomy for gold and goods. We shall continue the system, and there still exist some lands nearby that are ours by birthright that would be ideal locations to set up such a state. The gold must flow, we will ensure that it does. Back to the great Tang of old. Our new empire must establish tributary states to receive income to fund our ambitious plans for national revival. We've already begun to piecemeal the interior of the nation to lesser nobles, warlords, and other figures who have proven their loyalty, granting them governorship positions and great deals of autonomy. However, outside of borders in the wild regions of Central Asia, Korea, Mongolia, and Tibet, untamed lands long claimed by the Chinese but rarely fully conquered, the lay lands of people's right for conquest and subjugation. And in our renewed position of strength, we could reach out to these border states, force them to bend the knee or die. But this would be likely to stabilize the nation as the people just begin again to get used to the bl bliss of peace. What should we do? No more foreigners? The border states will pay for gold or blood. Ooh, tribute here, states. Nice. A legacy of reform, a mandate of equality, a lot more political power. We have the young mandate here, too, right? The modern Silk Road, unfortunately. Modern saying Co. is not too bad. Taoist revivalism, nice. The young mandate sucks. Or a legacy of order. Um, reform's not bad. <clears throat> um, I, I if I play this campaign again someday, I want to do the Legacy of Reform when we do opium stuff. Hmm, reform. We reformed ourselves, though. To have, but the Mandate of Equality versus the Mandate of Order, or Tradition. I think we're going to go with Tradition, because I feel, I feel like that's just the way we want to go. We get more daily political power, and the more political power game, which is kind of weird, but... Um, oh, this gives you a lot more political power. Holy crap, Equality gives you a lot more. But division organization shoots up to 25% compared to the 5% here. 35% more stability and 5% more war sport. Or 10% more stability and 30% more war sport, which we could use more stability, though. And a lot more division defense. Legacy of order. But if you want to read about this one first, please go right ahead. Let's go tradition. Our research in Great Tang, under the direct orders from the Emperor, decided to embrace the old Tang legacy of martial prowess and order. China is a vast and unruly expanse, and only through tradition and strict adherence to set principles can we ever hope to survive without order. We're nothing but animals. A new idea of neuro feudalism shall form the basis of our new Great Tang, keeping us firmly rooted in our traditions as we slowly inch towards modernity. And a truly great Tang restored. Our enemies have been cut down, our foundations have been secured, the mandate of heaven once more lies firmly within the grasp of the Great Tang and Emperor Gaozu, once known as Tang Xiao, has achieved his greatest dreams. Though his claims to the throne was once shaky at best, and many have been influenced, may have been influenced by the love of opium, he's proven himself through conquest and struggle to be the rightful ruler of China. All hell the Great Tang and may last for another millennia. <clears throat> the Tang Dynasty under Emperor Gaozu of Tang has led the Great Tang to a remarkable and near miraculous resurgence. Under the stern rule, China has seen itself hurtle into the past, while still maintaining some semblance of modernity. Feudalism has seen its resurgence, and the old tax and tributary system from the Tang Dynasty grants five times of warlords, priests, and other loyal stewards of the Emperor. Opium flows throughout all these lands as the lifeblood of our industry, with the illicit substance being carried across the Opium Road and all throughout Asia. True piety has been restored with the three grand Chinese faiths of legalism, Confucianism, and above all, Taoism reign across the land and are endorsed by all and proselytized by the state. A new golden age has been ushered in over the Middle Kingdom, just like the original Tang Dynasty of old, and all of our people prosper with the poems and songs of our national identity and revitalized culture. Under Emperor Gaozu, all of China has been made to prosper, and our people finally know order and stability. The Great Tang has risen again with tradition at their side, may never collapse. One foot of tradition, one in modernity. Nice. And since we're here, just go decision.new checks. Let me get this stuff done. Because we can. I do that. Tibet, Tibet, take the knee. Mongolia. Well, they don't exist, so. Okay, that's kind of cool that you can demand all these people to demand, to bend the knee. And we're going to colonize stuff, of course, well. I mean, I don't like using these cons commands, but sometimes we have to, since. Well, we don't have to, but still. Oh, I guess. Uh, don't get rid of that. What are we still at war with? Japanese treaty territories. But unfortunately, like I said earlier, um, the mod keeps crashing, unfortunately. We do have the Kingdom of. What? what? Moscow. What? Japanese? I don't know. But hey, I guess that's going to be it. I apologize for being rage earlier. Just Some of these things are just very frustrating, I'll be honest. Very, very frustrating. I don't like it. And, and I get it. 40 combos. You shouldn't really be fighting the land wars too much in Asia, which is why I don't usually like playing in Asia unless it's like Japan or China. So My apologies about that. But it looks like, really, if we had enough time, Germany would probably win. The Reichsback would probably win against these guys because, well, the Russian Republic is doing okay. Even though Germany doesn't... Well, they're only on limited conscription. But anyways, regardless... 
I hope you enjoyed the campaign. It's been fun. It's been fun, even though we apparently like, we we re-legalized opium, but whatever. If you liked it, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous tang rest of your day.